Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is tachycardia which is simply known as the fast heart rate you know. And but before starting I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com uh, and uh, you can click the link in the description to uh, visit this website. Thank you very much. Now I will come to the topic. The topic is tachycardia. So tachycardia is uh, the fast heart rate and heart rate of uh, more than 100 beats per minute in adults is called tachycardia. And uh, what's too fast for you may depend on your age and your physical condition you know. You know there are uh, two types of tachycardia, three types of tachycardia. Uh, atrial and uh, uh, supraventricular tachycardia. So atrial tachycardia or the supraventricular tachycardia is a fast heart rate and uh, uh, that starts in the upper chambers of the heart you know and some for some uh, forms are called proxysmal atrial tachycardia or uh, proxysmal supraventricular tachycardia you know the electrical signals in the heart upper chamber fire abnormally so which interferes with the electrical signals coming from the uh, sinoatrial node which is known as SA node you know and which is the heart's natural pacemaker so a series of the uh, early beats in the atria speeds up the heart rate and the rapid heart uh, beat does not allow enough time for the heart to fill before it contracts so the blood flow to the rest of the body is compromised the next thing is uh, uh, what are the causes and the risk factors are who is likely to uh, get this one you know you know a supraventricular tachycardia is the most common type of uh, arrhythmia in the children and uh, it's more common in women and uh, the anxious young people the people who are physically fatigued and the people who drink large amounts of coffee are caffeinated beverages you know and the people who drink alcohol heavily and the people who smoke heavily so they are more likely to get the uh, atrial or the uh, supraventricular tachycardia and uh, the atrial tachycardia occurs less common with the heart attack uh, serious uh, much valve disease now the next thing is what are the symptoms you know some people have no symptoms and others may feel like you know, fainting a light headedness or dizziness a rapid heartbeat or the palpitations or the fluttering which is a feeling in the chest or bounding pulse you know angina which means that uh, chest pain where you feel pressure and the tightness in the chest you know shortness of breath and fatigue or tiredness you know and in extreme cases uh, atrial or the supraventricular tachycardia may cause uh, unconsciousness or the cardiac rest you know so your doctor will uh, perform the physical examination so he will check the blood pressure uh, listen the heart, listen the lungs and uh, any other sign of, on your body like sinus, uh, color of the uh, body you know and uh, he may prescri uh, advise the further test like ECG and uh, blood tests etc you know uh, and uh, uh, then he will be able to uh, diagnose the tachycardias and the many people don't uh, need medical treatment you know and the treatment is considered if episodes are prolonged or they occur too often you know and your doctor may recommend 
uh, carotid sinus massage so which is a gentle pressure on the neck you know where the carotid artery splits into two branches and it must be performed by a healthcare professional to minimize the risk of stroke you know uh, heart or the lung injury from the blood clots you know and uh, pressing gently on the eyeballs uh, with eyes closed but this uh, maneuver should be guided by a doctor and uh, while well, salva maneuver it is we are holding your uh, nostrils uh, closed while blowing air through the nose you know and uh, dive reflex in this maneuver the body's response to the a sudden uh, immersion in water especially cold water you know sedation and cutting down coffee cutting down the alcohol or quitting the smoking also helps you know and in the patients with the uh, wolf parkinson's are uh, white disease you know or syndrome you know medications or the ablation may need it to control these uh, uh, proximal supraventricular tachycardias you know and the other type is the uh, the sinus tachycardias you know in the sinus tachycardias means the fast and a steady heart rate you know and uh, is a normal increase in the heart rate and uh, the other one is uh, ventricular tachycardia you know so these are the types of the tachycardias thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com goodbye